the computer, it can be a bit muffled, so I'm just going to grab it now. Because I was thinking that there was something missing. The big clear, the big clear out. I am a cluster bug. He's not. <laughs> so anyway, cool. So it was just the. So I'm just gonna use the wrong mat. You use your regular one. Okay, let's get going with from here. So as usual, the feet on our feet were not on our feet for long. They were not on our feet for long. And the core means it's all round the back, the side, the front, all that. So now let's walk out those feet. And it's my favorite. Always walking up. And it's always a beautiful surprise when you stretch out. It's as good as you go. Oh. And for your feet, now four and three and two. Lean over to one foot and just wiggle it around. Open out those toes. Now open the space up between the toes. And four and three and two over to the other side. Again, have a quick peek. Make sure you can see the space between the toes. Wiggle them out. It's four. And so I realize he's having a meeting upstairs. Now stepping to the end of the mat now. Inhale, lift. Exhale, start to roll your way down, soften the knees. Put your hands on the floor and exhale, slowly straightening the legs, finding the hamstrings. Inhale, bend the knees. Exhale, slowly straighten the legs. Take a few more and slowly stretch. One more, inhale, bend. Exhale, stretch and walk out to that high plank. Take a moment here, breathe in. Nice and still, soften the elbows. Maximize the distance between the shoulder blades and out. Inhale here, exhale up downward. Dog and walk the feet forward to meet your hands. Another forward fold, breathing lengthen. Breathe out, hands down, step back to the high plank and then hold here. And just hold, nice and still. Pulling the shoulder blades away from each other, lifting yourself away from the floor. It's four and three and two. Inhale here, exhale, start to pike up the downward dog. Inhale back to plank. Start to get everything going. Exhale, downward dog. Inhale to plank. Just the two more. Shh. And it's down. Last one. Let's all meet in the plank. First bit of cardio to get everything going. Now right knee and left knee. Right knee, left knee. Right knee. Now go for it. Nice and fast. Go right, left, right. Now you're under no pressure. If you want to keep it slow, you can absolutely keep it slow. I just want to turn off this WhatsApp because the feeding is really annoying. And now just run it out, squeeze, squeeze. Make sure you're breathing and squeeze and run. Come on, come on. Yes. Woo. And those of you watching playback, if you're not into your, your super cardio, he just goes to dipping of the knee. And leave that uh, applies to you as well. If you, this is all you want to do, yeah, you can vary it up. You can change it up. And now just eight more counts. Any choice. Well, five and five, four, three and two. Find a high plank. Now step the feet as wide as your mat, so you have a nice wide base. Your one elbow, the other, and hands, and hands, and the other elbow, the elbows, hands, and hands, elbows, elbows, and hands, and hands, and elbows, elbows. Regulate your breath. Those of you who need to be on the knees, just be on the knees. But keep going, right? And elbows, and hands, and hands. Last one. That's all me in the elbow. Step the feet together from here. Dip the hips one way. And then scoop up and dip the hips the other way. And scoop up. Let's go little swing. Go inside, center, and side, center, side. Those of you who want to absolutely find to go faster. Go side, like a little dance. For eight, seven, six, five, and four, three, and two. Side plank slow. Release one arm into the side plank and back to both elbows, and the other arm, and both of your elbows, now back to the first side. Now absolutely fine to do all this on your knees. Yeah, all of you, those of you watching play back as well, on the knees, fine. You can keep it very slow, look up to your shoulders. Those of you who knows what you're doing around the side plank, go faster if you want, go reach, and down, and reach, and down, for four more counts. Any version you have, last two, now let's find a side plank facing me so you can see. There you go, yes. To start, if you're ready, ready, out of breath, put the bottom knee down and let's get going. Well done, Ali. Now up, up, hold. Up, up, hold. 
hold up the side crunch. Yeah. And up, up, hold it. And those of you who are on your feet, when the full side plank, go for it, guys. And up, up, hold. And up, up, hold. The hold up there is the key. Four more up, up, stop. Three more up, up, stop. Last two. Woo Last one, hold it up. Look up at your top hand. Feel, feel marvelous. And four, and three, and two. Nice one. Now gently lie yourself down. So you know which shoulder, you know which side we're going to have to go to next. But first of all, let's break it up. So you're on your back. One shoulder's a lot more achy than the other one. Fabulous. So straighten the legs out. Loosen up the hip, the fit hip flexor. Get a little break. Imagine you have a little break. It's slight or even a strawberry. Just slide the break between the lower back and the floor. And you're going to make sure they don't squash it. Hands behind the head. Take a moment. Now crunch up without squashing the break. Now up and up and up. A big lift of those pelvic floor. Exhale and lift. So right away, you know you can't go high. This is not about high. Ah and squeeze you want those ribs to stay intact so the priority is to keep the back neutral right so nice little tip in the lower back as you crunch yeah crunch and crunch well done these are little warm-ups yes these are little warm-ups let's go mm. Mm. nice just uh, two more eight little lift 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 little lift exhale exhale and one more eight to go here comes eight seven six five and four and three, fabulous. Now hold it here, head and shoulders stay off the floor if you can. Now one foot on the floor, the other foot on the floor, and adjust your spine. So now woo, you squash that little break. Can you crunch up any higher? Take a moment, take stock of where you are. Now carefully put, lift one foot half an inch off the floor and put the foot down. So it's hovering half an inch off the floor and down. There you go. One foot up and down. The other foot up half an inch so it's just hovering off the floor it's painful yeah it's at the most awkward place and lift and now ellie let's go for it guys here you go go feet up go feet down go feet up it's barely one centimeter off the floor one centimeter off the floor those of you watching playback you barely see me move yeah because it's that small go feet up go feet up and down together if you can it's up and drop and lift and drop last two now guys keep both feet hovering just off the floor now back to the crunches and lift and crunch and crunch can you just keep those legs hovering oh my god here is lift and crunch and squeeze the feet hovering off the floor for eight seven and six five and four three and two now back bring the knees over the hips and lay the head and shoulders down take a moment how are we doing yes now lengthen the legs out to 90 degrees. Keep the body down for now, flexing the foot. Are you ready? Pressing the arms down on either side of you. Breathe in here. Breathe out, crunch the lower, the bum of the floor. So you're crunching into the lower, lower abs. Down, exhale up, inhale down. Bum comes up the mat. So reverse crunch, reverse crunch. And now try to keep the legs from moving too much. That's it, so the legs are not coming anywhere near your face. Lift. They're aiming for the ceiling. Woo! And lift. And look, I do not mean to speak so loud. I'm literally squeezing the voice out of me. And lift. Now, guys, let's keep the bum off the mat and little pulses up. And up. And up. And up. Those of you with the really a bit tricky back, like sometimes I do tend to have, you can keep your arms on the side to, to just give you extra support. Lift. And lift. And guys, if you're really doing this funny, you should be needing the toilet. And lift, woo, squeeze, and up, and press, and lift, and here's eight more before we air down, lift, and squeeze, and up, for four, and three, now float the head and shoulders up, Her arms, we have fingers for the toes, toes for the ceiling, everything up, and up, everything crunching up, and up, here comes eight more, seven, six, five, and four, three, and two, hold on, now hands go back behind the hips, Keep the head and shoulders off the floor and lower the legs back to 90 and then come back to 90 degrees. So both legs down to 45 and back to 90. And back down to 45, imprinting the spine on the mat. And legs down, exhale up and up. You can make the range of movement a bit smaller. 
depending on what's available to you, as long as you know you're working harder. Now keep the legs 90 degrees from your hips and then crunching up and up and up. That's it, go squeeze. So the legs are directly to the ceiling. And breathe out and out. Should be burning in the abs a bit, yeah. And now keep the body going. Remember just now what we did with the legs. We travel down and then come back up. Now keep the body crunching, the legs are gonna do that again. So it's two crunches up, bring the legs down, and two crunches, bring the legs up. So down and down and back up and up and down and down and back up and up. Inhale. Woo! Yes, up and up and down and down and back up. Let's have four more and we're gonna move on. Yes, and down and down and back up and the body just keeps crunching the upper body just consistently crunch as you move the legs come on two more yes last one down come back to 90 hug your knees ah! now circle the knees on one knee in each arm circle them around circle in different directions Woo! oh nice one but the shoulders are feeling good right shoulders had a nice break and then you swing up and down, swing on, just basically roll up and down on that spine until eventually you come up to all fours position. You know we're going to work our way to the other side plank. Yes. Now, step back. So you're in the all fours, tap the toes on up, hop the knees up and low. Hop the knees up and low. Hop the knees up and lower. And four and low. Well done. Three and lower. Last two. And now stay on those toes. Step out on the right leg, step out on the left leg. And step back in on the right leg and back in on the left. Now the other side. And go left and right and left and right. If you are modifying, those of you watching the playback, when you bring the knees under the hip, it basically comes onto your knees. Put the knees on the mat, out to full plank and come back to all fours. Rest the knees and up and out. Those of you who don't need a break, just keep those knees off the floor, guys. Let's have four more like this. It's out. And step back in and in. Three more. Out and out. Step back in. Last two. It's out. And back in. Pull the shoulder blades away from each other. And now come back in. Now next time you step out, you're going to stay out. And then lower down to one elbow and the other back to those elbow planes from here. Again, back to the hip swing. Go side, 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 side. Nice. Now stay on this pace if you just had enough. Otherwise, you go double time. Go in, side, side, side. Yes, yeah, side, side. I call it the samba hip. I think that's the one where you shake the most, right? So eight, seven, six, five, and four, three, and two. Now remember, we're going to side plank the other side. So float the other arm up. You know which side? <laughs> well done. Now find your side plank. Absolutely fine to have the bottom knee down. And here we go. How is it? Up, up, hold. Up, up, hold. And up, up, hold. Now, if you have the bottom knee down, it's feeling too easy. You can get the top leg off the floor. Up, up, hold. That's like a nice compromise. That's a nice middle point. Sometimes one knee down is too easy, but both legs up is too hard. You can have one leg floating off the floor. Up, up, hold. And it's up, up. And this was two more cheeky ones in there for luck. And hold it here. Look up at your hand. Look up at your ceiling. Give yourself a big smile. Yes. Eight, seven, six, five, and four, three, and two. Fabulous. Come back to the elbows and lower all the way down. So it's four. It's not just about abs. We're going to the back now. Yeah. So here we go. Resting one hand on top of the other. Four hands onto the hands. Give your bum a quick wiggle. Now, we're going to just have a bit of a warm-up first, making sure you're not clenching your butt at all. So the butt cheeks are completely relaxed, but you're throwing the belly button away from the floor, you're sucking the belly button in, relax your butt, keep focusing on that, and then lift the upper body. Still keep focusing on keeping your bum relaxed. Now, little lift, little lift. So you're not going to go very high. Yeah, little lift. It's a bit like the first bit of that, that crunch on the abs crunch. We're keeping, in the first bit of a crunch, we're keeping the back neutral and the crunch up is very small. Similarly here, the thumb is not doing anything at all. So you're just using the upper back mid-back 
So it's going to go very small as well. That's it. Now focus on keeping the glutes relaxed. This one here, make sure you're, you're making sure the upper back, mid back do some work. Yeah, they don't tend to do the work. Every time we do our back, our bum kicks in straight away. But now we're going to make all these other parts do something. Here is the leg. Now, as long as you're not focusing on how high can I come up, it's very doable. Yeah, it's your body just focus and barely off the floor. If you need to look, live. Bumps relax. Just one more H. Exhale up. Or if you prefer to inhale out, that's fine. Now hold it up much as you can. Hovering just off the floor. Option one, lengthen the arms out over your head, bicep by the ear. Option two, if that's too hard, just open the elbows out, cactus. Or if you can do both. So over the head, back to the forehead, cactus, back to the forehead, and head and forehead. If that's not too much, if your shoulders are nice and loose, yogi, just get arms over the head. So bend and stretch, bend and stretch over the head, that's it. Four more. Feel the upper back really kicking in, not the shoulders, the back, yeah? Now keep the bicep by the ear, lengthen the arms out, take a moment. You will try to relax your butt as you back up, coming back up and up. So it's a lot more tricky now. If this is too much, guys, bring the arms to cactus and lift from there. Or you keep the arms, keep the hands on your forehead like the beginning. Yes, I know. Well done, well done. Yes, look at lift. Now this is awkward and challenging even though it's very small because you're going to the, the part that doesn't get used much and you should, yeah? And we will go to our lower back later. Ah, just one more here, eight, well eight, seven, six, and neck is long, four, three, two. Oh my gosh, and down, forehead down. Keep yourself a quick wiggle again. Now into the lower back, so nice and safe. Keep the head and shoulders down. Keep the forehead on the floor or on your hands. Both legs up, low. Both legs up, low. Both legs up. Oh. You know, this never hurt me, but I think I'm doing it so much that it's hurting my pelvic bone. So if it's the same for you, get a cushion under there, right? Let's go. Both legs up and low. Both legs up. Never used to hurt me. High plank never used to hurt my elbows either. I don't have that kind of a bony joints. I have quite flashy joints. But I think if you do a lot of it, the bone starts to go, mm -hmm, I don't like this. Last four. Last three. Last two. Now keep the upper body realized. It's just going to the lower back now. And the glutes. Now keep the legs up. Legs the foot. Mermaid tail. Bend the knees and touch the heels together. Get the sides of the floor if you can. Now keep the sides of the floor. You straighten the legs and bend. Straighten and bend. They are not very far off the floor. It's not possible. You will at least be able to get a piece of paper between the thigh and the floor. That's all you need. Just the four. Lift. Feel it in the lower back and the glute. Yeah. Last two. Now keep the heels glued together. She shows the feet to the side. Like fish tail, mermaid tail. Ladies, let's go press up. Up. Lift. If you want, you can start to lift the upper body up now as well. And now we can start to lift up. Love. I'm doing a modified version. If you are feeling very, very okay, get the hands over your forehead and everything up. And up. And up. Yeah, everything crunch up. Nice. Up. And up. Just eight more and we're going to move on. Well done. Leave away. Seven. Six. I'm going to move the cushion because the cushion is giving me false illusion. And now, nice one. Everything down. Take a moment. Relax your legs. Lengthen your legs and keep it to the ego. Cushion being there made me feel like, oh, my legs so much higher than they actually are. But it's a lot nicer for the pelvic bone. Now, making sure you have no sudden movement, because we just come from some back then. It's like one arm across and roll back on your back again. Yeah. So, placing the soles of the feet on the floor. I never play fast and loose with the back. So, you gently hug one, bring both knees over the hips. You'll start to feel your back rounding and loosening up. And start to very slowly hug the knees to the chest, relaxing your back. This is like a child's pose, but lying down, right? Flip over. So finding, making sure no more tension and all the weird awkwardness is teased off the back, at least more or less, before we get back into it. So from here, you are coming back to that nice 90 degree tango bit behind the head. And then you can lift the head and shoulders up. We're going to some oblique, some twist. So lower the legs to 90. 
and then just pull a few crunches here with the legs out long. Yeah, so squeeze up. If you are struggling, just keep the legs quite high, right? Just squeeze as long as you keep them on that side of the hip. Just squeeze and press through for at least. Looking good. Yes, I see the legs going lower. Woo! Just three, eight, seven, six, five. Belly button in. Four, three. Now hold on. Bring one knee into the chest and take the opposite elbows over. And then meet me in the center. Extend the legs out long. And then go over to the other side. And extend the legs out long in the middle. So twist. Center. Try not to go bicycling. That's a little easy. <laughs> it's not. But I prefer you lengthen the legs before you do bend the knees in. So bend, stretch both legs. Bend, stretch both legs. So bend and stretch. And bend and stretch. And bend. That's it. And bend. Four more. Exhale, inhale, exhale, last two. And now come back to one side, hold the knee in and the elbows over. Now you wrap the elbows towards the knee. Go twist, twist, go twist. If you're struggling, you can put the other foot on the floor, but I think that's a bit too easy for all of you. But keep the other leg long. Go twist. So this here is just squeezing into a tighter twist, that's all, yeah. Go take the elbows over to the knee. Go squeeze. Squeeze. Yes, it gets quite interesting, Ellie. Well done. Four. Three. Now from here, the body is frozen. The elbows still touching the knee. Now keep that knee right there. Eight, ten. And bend. Eight, ten. And bend. Just a four. And bend. And three. And bend. Last two. And now the legs are long. So the legs look like half split. The body is still twisted, not moving. This leg go down, both legs touch and come back up. Okay, so legs down and up. That leg go down, come back up and down, back up. This is really challenging, Ali. So well done, well done, well followed. Just keep going. If you need to modify, just put the other foot down and move just the one leg. Yep. Four more down. Lift. Three more down. Well done, hun. Last two. And now have that leg out long. Arms reaching out for that leg. You're still twisted and now crunch and crunch. I'm doing a modified version. Those of you who can do the full version, straighten both legs and crunch, crunch and lift and crunch, crunch. We'll go to the other side in eight, seven, six, five and four, three, two. Come back to center. There's a little break here. Well done, Ali. So take yourself to a 90 degree knee, like, up, like a chair turned sideways. So arms reaching for the side. If you're working with the tricky back, guys, Look, leave the arms on the floor for support. If you have no problem there, arms to the sky and arms and legs going in the opposite direction. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale over to the other side. So you're still very much working that core, but it's a lot more relaxed. Yeah, just visual. Before we go to do that weird, crazy twisting sequence on the other side. <laughs> yes, guys. A few more here. Just really enjoy. And back. Nice, two. Now let's take it up a notch. So, next time the legs go to one side, you straighten, bend, come back to center. The other side, straighten the legs and bend, and back to center. There you go. And side, and stretch, and bend, and center. Side, and stretch, and bend, and center. Just the two more. One, one each side. Just one. Now. Keep the legs straight, come back to center. Now we're gonna do all that with the straight leg. So you can leave the arms on the floor if this is getting too much, or you go side, center. Naturally, the range of movement is gonna be a lot smaller. We are still very much working your core here. Yes, pendulum. Just the four, yeah, looking so good. It must be the yogi. Oh, yes. Now four more. So four more each side. Four, and get back, and three and switch now we're ready to twist on the other side yes we are now his last one now making sure both sides is done come back to center hands go back behind the head lower the legs back to that long position again and then keep the legs with there without moving back to the crunches in the upper body you're ready getting your head set up tight up for the other side right so in, in eight more counts we're going to bring that knee in and take the elbows over four three and two, now bring the knee in and take that opposite elbow over. You are now onto the other side, right? Now wrap it across, rock, 
So the legs are going to try to not move, but the upper body is going to keep twisting. So you're going to try to bring the elbow twisted towards our knee. Let's go squeeze, squeeze. Ring out the dirty claw. Yes, squeeze and squeeze. Well done. If you need it, just put the other foot down on the floor for, for, for stability. Yeah, it's quite a tricky one, this. So well done, Ali. And squeeze. Here we go, guys. Eight more. Reach. Squeeze. And four, three, and two. Hold on. So the body is twisted, but completely immobile. Straighten out the other leg. And now this top leg is going to straighten and bend. Straighten and bend. And straighten and bend. And straighten. Four more. And you're going to meet me in that weird half split situation. Now the leg is both legs are straight if you can hold it here. Now float the top leg down and bring the top leg back up. So lay down and up. Lay down and up. If you're needing a bit of a stability, just put the other foot on the floor. Especially if you're quite new to this, right? It is very challenging. And down. Well done. Four more down. And lift. Three more down. And lift. Last two. And now keep that leg low. Both arms reaching for that same leg. And then crunching up. Up. Modification is the one I'm doing now. Put the other foot on the floor. Those of you doing the full version, keep the legs together. Yes, Ali. I see you. Yes, I'm You're committed now. Keep those legs out. Can you make them any lower? Final eight. Bring those legs as low as you can, babe. Let's go. Eight. Seven. Six. Come on, come on, come on. Yes. And four. Three. And two. And one. Hug those knees in. <laughs> well done. Now hug the knees to the chest. Give yourself a few rock and roll. We're going to take the last minute of... Last minute, a bit of a cardio blast, and then we're going to have a very quick bit of stretching, and then you can get on with your evening. So come to all fours. How are we doing? Yeah, so rock yourself up to all fours. A few cats out here. Yeah. And by the way, you are, you are a yogi. Ali, if you know why this is so cow, please tell me, because I don't know why I've never seen a cow to do this. I think cats do that. So if you have an answer, very welcome to let me know, right? So here we go a few times. Oh, that's nice. After that, I feel the muscle on your abs loosening up and contract. Oh, in your back. So over. Take your time here. Yeah. And again, prepare your mind for it. We're hitting the side plane again with some cardio hits. And it was all done. It's only half an hour. Now, when you're ready, really make sure you shake yourself back to neutral. And now, give yourself a few white side to side. It feels really good for the spine to go side to side, right? Four, three, nice. We are all psyched up now. So step out to that high plank and go right knee and left knee. Let's go for a run. You can absolutely find to do it slower, but no, just go for this. Just anything you need to to get that heart rate up. Yes, I see you, Beth. Four, eight, seven. We're not going to just do this for the whole minute. We're going to change it up. <laughs> and three, and run for it for four. And three and two, hold the plank, one elbow, the other, one hand, the other, one elbow, elbows and hands, and hands, just the two more, down and up and up, last one down and come back on your hands, this one take the knee to opposite elbow, go squeeze, you're more than halfway through, nice, 20 more seconds, can you do this, 20 more seconds, come on Ali, let's go, go squeeze, Last 10. And then you're all done, babe. Come on, stay with me. Last five, four, three, two. Princess. Nice. Either downward dog or child's pose. Oh, well done. Breathe, breathe. If you're not in child's pose already, make your way there when you are ready. If you're going to stay in downward dog for a bit more, please do. Ooh. Now, quick bit of stretching. So we did a lot of core. So slide your stuff out through the puppy pose. Lay the chest onto the mat as soon as you can. And slither your way out like a snake. Yeah, well done. Now you're nicely on your front again. Squeeze your knees together. Everything together. Press your whole pelvis area into the foot. Both hip bones and the pelvic bone. And then reach back for one foot. Keep the knees glued together. This one, open the hips out nicely and open the hip legs around nicely. Mm. 
please making sure there's no gap that open up between the body and the mat. Especially the bit where the stomach meets the top of the thigh. That bit rarely likes to open up when we do this. There's no back bend element here. It's all a hip opener and a hip, you know, a, a quad opener. And four, three, two. Nice. Let the foot float away. And then come back to that. Rest the forehead back on your hands and like, appreciate how it feels, feels different both sides. The side that's just sorted out, the other side is still waiting. Keep the knees glued together over to the other side. Just all those deep, deep pelvic floor core lifts, you know, until our pelvic floor and core get strong enough. And also we start to, when we start to get really tired, the hip flexor takes over. And then that's what you're feeling there. Your hip flexor and quads tighten up and takes over. Eventually, we're strong enough that they never take over. <laughs> then the foot float away. And then come back to that moment of stillness. Just appreciate how that feels. Now, open the arms out to a T-shape. There's a lot of plank work. So let's stretch out the shoulders. And then make sure the arms are shoulder height. You roll over onto one side. And just enjoy it. Some days you can reach up for the sky or maybe reach back for the other hand. Myself today, I'm just going to keep that other arm in front of my chest so I don't tip, tip, tip sideways and tip forward and back. Really sit into that stretch. And it's like, all stretches like yoga. You never just hold it and then wait there. You are constantly using your breath to move millimeters and millimeters. Even or maybe even less than millimeters. So you're constantly exploring. Gently come back to the center and back to the T shaped forehead down. Give yourself a moment. See how different both sides feel. Yeah, we like that. Now over to the other side. Bye. Oh, that feels so nice. The body weight and gravity doing all they sh the things they should do. Ah, coming back to center. And now bring the arm, forearm under your shoulders and take it out to a sphinx. Start to get the legs a bit uh, separate. Now, if this is too easy, uh, you feel like your stomach can do more, replace the elbows with your hands and come up all the way to a co co cobra. I have a really uh, temperamental back, so I do tend to stay on the elbows. But you do what you, there you go, shoulders away from the ears. There you go, four, three, can feel the stomach on your, uh, the muscle on your stomach, oh, go, ah, oh. nice. Now gently lower down safely, keeping, making sure the knees on the mat and then slither back once more via puppy. And very carefully, you know, we just came from a little gentle back then. So carefully now, all the way to child's pose. Hands on either side of the knees and roll yourself up, sitting up on your heels, Japanese style. When you are ready, shoulders back and back and breathe in. And you're all done for the evening. You're all set. Ali, thank you so much. <laughs> Take care. <laughs> Hope that hit the spot. <laughs> it definitely 